Oi! Do you want to know how to make a thumbnail that looks like this? Yeah! Or this? Yeah! Or maybe even this? Woo! Alright, alright, settle down. Do you even know what program we're gonna be using today? Oh yeah. <laughs> It's already in the title. So originally SFM was created to make Team Fortress 2 animated shorts, but in 2012, for some reason, Valve made a free open beta version of the SFM to the gaming community via its Steam services. Yep, you heard me right, it's... Alright, let's begin our tutorial. First, open up Steam and go to the library. From there, type Source Filmmaker. Click on it and download. Once it's done downloading, open up your SFM and prepare to create the most magnificent art you have ever created in your entire lifetime. <laughs> Once you opened up SFM, you can see that there is no map. Nani? Right click on the screen and select Load Map. To be honest, there's not too many maps you can really choose from. Majority of them are full of bugs, so I just simply do not recommend taking them. You're probably asking yourself, What am I gonna do? Well, my fellow viewer, all we have to do now is to head to Steam Community Workshop. From there, type Source Filmmaker in the search bar. No! Scroll down a little bit and click on Map. Now you will only see maps that are available for public use. Click on map you like the most, press subscribe and restart your SFM. Now it should appear next to mod filter and to be more specific, workshop filter. If the map doesn't show up, try to rescan the search. Great! You have just accomplished the easiest step so far! Well done! Can you guess what comes next? Pizza time. Yes, we are now going to search for a character that we will be using for our thumbnail. Head back to Steam Community Workshop again and instead of choosing map, choose model. Once you're there, type whatever the f*** you want, whether it's an anime, Fortnite, Call of Duty, CSGO, Apex Legends, I don't care, okay? I, I really don't care. Once you found the character you want to use, complete the same procedure as you already did with the map. In my case, I chose Alex from a recent Call of Duty game because you can make many different facial expressions with this character. Alright, head back to SFM. You might only notice one viewport. To get another one, click on Windows and Secondary Viewport. Wow. Now click on a secondary viewport and hold it to move around and place it on this square. Adjust the viewports how you want and how you think it is the best. Now, the reason why we did this is to have one viewport for war camera and the second one for the actual camera. Finally, we are now ready once again to make something magnificent, something unique, something that will stand out and make you a millionaire by doing YouTube. But before that... You need to know a few important things that will get you going. So let's start, because you're already bored as shit. To move around your camera so you could find the perfect spot for your creation, click on the screen and hold it. Use your mouse to look around the map and use AWDS to move around. By pressing shift you can move around a lot faster. From here we have two options. Either we are going to make a green screen asset, which later on we will be using on Photoshop to finish our product, or can do it without it and make our work even more harder than this. You choose. Since I love to use green screen, head back to Steam Community Workshop and search for green screen and subscribe to it. Now head back to SFM and press this little cute looking plus and select create animation set for a new model. Make sure that the mod filter is set on workshop, then search for the green screen. Wait. Where the f*** did it go? Ah, there it is. Now what you can see here is a 3D tool that will help you to move that green screen. Click on this little icon and you will be able to change the position of the green screen. Continue with the same procedure to add the character you want. 
Select the camera so you could set it the way green screen asset will look like. Also, adjust field of view which will help you to get the best image. Can you guess what comes next? Adjusting the character the way we want. To do that, press this little thing next to your character. There you have it. Face, body, arms, fingers, legs, and unknown particles that are only known to Gabe and himself. Whew, that was a very long tutorial. Now there you have it. You are now a professional SFM thumbnail creator. Now go ahead, create, be creative, do something that has never ever been done before. To be honest, I could show you step by step how to set your character the way you would want, but that would take a million years, if not two. So I'm gonna quickly fast forward this video because we still have to learn how to save this project we have been working on. Once you're done, click on File, then Export, and Poster. From here, I suggest leaving PNG as your file type. Remember where you have saved it, cause it takes a while to find it. As you can see, I finished my project with Photoshop, which was considerably very easy. If you want to learn how to make thumbnails with Photoshop for your YouTube videos, I highly recommend watching this video FinMade. I will leave it at the very top of description. Finn is by far the best teacher of the internet things. At least that's what his uh, Twitter bio said. So yeah, that was Andy, signing out. Peace!